deadly bow to the sticks on floor. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, early round action here. We'll see what Alexander Volkanovsky can do. He believes he will have the striking advantage, the wrestling advantage, believes that he has the grappling advantage as well. Remains to be seen, but certainly confidence was not an issue in our midweek fighter meeting with Alexander the Great. Well, Masvidal against Ben Askren, it was not but a beautiful knee there right up the gut. And at the very least, something now for this wrestler to think about as he tries to get inside and get the fight to the That is the most famous time that we have seen that guy throw that type of knee in Jorge Masvidal. But if you are a guy that wants to stay upright, you keep throwing knees like that. It will deter that wrestler from the level change. Wrestlers panic at times. They put their head down. Sometimes you can land that knee to the body. But look for it to go up to the head here to try to end the fight. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch coward. <laughs> Emmett Sai is closing up. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? That shot blocked by Volko. there to his opponent and he lands it just after catching the leg so clearly he is starting to find his timing not just offensively but defensively as well very good read there effective use of the jab there by Volkanovs all right so perhaps he's gonna have to address something defensively there is a legitimate cut around his eye yeah he got cut on the eye from that last strike he's got to pay attention now before it gets worse oh strong hook to the head there by him I, I don't do that as well as you do it, but man, he's coming out swinging tonight. He is bringing the heat. This dude is trying to end this night early. Can you give us an ooey, please? Ooh-wee! <laughs> so good. So the Volk man, Alexander Volkanovsky, continuing to excel here late in the round. He's a master in transition tonight, though. It's been largely striking that has left. He didn't like that right there. Big damaging knees here to the back. Oh my goodness. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Gotta be careful. He's gotta shore up the fence. Because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only the to get hit. Oh, That's a seminal blow right there, DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. And it hurt him to turn back. Oh, big left hook there. Two shots there. Big shots, too. And now a left. Everything's landing perfect. It's a right hand. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so that round is in the books. Emmett's eye is really in rough shape. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute... You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. Strong kick there. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Well, at this point, he's really got to think about mixing things up, change levels a little bit, try to slow your opponent down by working the body. At this point, he's really been a head hunter. Got to mix things up in modern-day mixed martial arts. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tangled. Oh, man, what a connection I'm not sure it's a whole thing. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side.
Big, big strikes continue to land. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, referee is going to step in here and likely call on the doctor to check out that swelling around the eye. Defensively, he has had a very hard time tonight. Well, and it's gotten worse because the moment the swelling started, his spirit tells him to keep going forward, but he's getting pieced up. That'll do it. Fighter trying to state his case, but he's not going to be passing any vision tests tonight. TKO via doctor stoppage, sort of an anticlimactic ending to that one. We get the official decision from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has gone.